Hey, what is going on everyone? In this video, we're gonna be talking about Python's built-in string method. By the end of this video, you should have a good understanding on how to use the string method within your Python programs. In this video, we're gonna be using the Python console. The way you can access that from within PyCharm is by coming all the way down to the bottom left-hand corner and clicking this tab that says Python console. If you don't have PyCharm installed, you can go to your terminal and just type in Python hit enter and you'll be able to run all the same things that we're running within this video. All right, so what the Python string method is gonna do is it's gonna convert some integer value into a string. So let's say we had some variable, we're gonna call it A, and it held this integer value. And this integer value is gonna represent the amount of times that some block of code ran. So if we wanted to print that out to inform us like, hey, this ran five times, we could say the code ran plus the amount of times that it ran, and we'll just say times. But if we try and run this, we'll actually end up getting an error because we're unable to concatenate a string and an integer. We can only concatenate two string objects. So if we bring this back, what we're gonna have to actually do is pass in our A variable into the string method. So we type in str and wrap A in the opening and closing parentheses. This will now convert our integer value of five into a string. So if we run this, we now get the code ran five times. This is a very simple but useful method. And as you continue to program, you'll find yourself using this method a ton. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.